हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल आई एम योगेश एंड आई वेलकम यू टू इजी एजुकेशन गाइस बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टुडेज टॉपिक आई रिक्वेस्टेड टू यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर न्यू अपडेट्स एंड न्यू वीडियोस गाइस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड सम अदर टॉपिक्स एंड द लिंक्स हैव प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वेयर यू कैन गेट एंड वॉच द वीडियोज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज टॉपिक Our today's topic is chapter three. Fiber to fabric. So let's see. The Haley and Bujo won the first prize in a science quiz competition held at their school. They were very excited and decided to use the prize money to buy clothes for their parents. When they saw a large variety of cloth material, they got confused. The shopkeeper explained that some clothes or fabrics were cotton and some were synthetic. He also had woolen mufflers and uh, shawls. There are many silk sarees as well. Paheli and Buzo felt very excited. They touched and felt uh, these different fabrics. Finally, they bought a woolen muffler and a cotton saree. After Their visit to the cloth shop, Paheli and Bujo began to notice various fabrics in their surroundings. They found that bed sheets, blankets, curtains, table uh, tablecloths, towels, and uh, dusters were made from different kinds of fabrics. Even their school bags and the, the gunny bags were made from some kind of fabric. they tried to identify these fabrics as cotton wool silk or synthetic can you also identify some fabrics variety in fabric activity 1 visit a nearby tailoring shop collect cuttings of fabrics left over after stitching feel and touch each piece of fabric Now try to label some of the fabrics as cotton, silk, wool, or synthetic. After asking for help from the tailor, do you wonder uh, what these different fabrics are made of? When you look at any fabric, it seems a continuous piece. Now look at it closely. What do you notice? Activity two: select a piece of cotton fabric you labeled in activity one. Now try to find a loose. thread of yarn at one of the edges and pull it out figure 3.3 if no loose yarns are visible you can gently pull one out with a pin or a needle we found uh, we find that a fabric is made up of a yarns arranged together what are these yarns made of fiber activity 3 Take out a yarn from a piece of cotton fib- uh, fabric. Place this piece of yarn on the table. Now press one end of the yarn uh, with your thumb. Scratch the other end of the yarn along its length with your nail, as shown in Figure three point four. Do you find that uh, at this end the yarn splits up into thin st- uh, strands? You might have observed something similar when you try to thread a needle. Many a time, the end of the thread is separated into a few thin uh, strands. This makes it difficult to pass the thread through the eye of the needle. The thin strands of thread that we see are made up of still thinner strands called fibers. Fib- uh, fabrics are made up. Uh, of yarns and yarns are further made up of uh, of fabric fibers where do these fibers come from the fibers of some fi- fabrics uh, such as uh, cotton jute silk and wool are obtained from plants and animals these are called natural fibers cotton and jute are example of uh, fibers uh, obtained from plants wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals Wool is obtained from the flick of a sheep or goat. It is also obtained from the 
hair of rabbits yak and uh, camels silk fiber is uh, drawn from the cocoon of sil uh, silk worm for thousands of years natural fiber were the only one available of, uh, for making fi uh, fabrics in the last hundred years or so fibers are also made from chemical Ozo has seen in the uh, museum items like the one shown here these were worn by warriors he wants to know if these are made of some kinds of fiber substances which are not obtained from plant or animal sources these are called synthetic fibers some examples of synthetic fibers are polyester nylon and acryl acrylic some plant fib uh, fibers cotton cotton have uh, you have made wicks for oil lamps what do you use for making these wicks these cotton wool is also used for filling mustresses quilts or pillows take some cotton wool wool pull it apart and look at it is what do you observe the small thin strands that you see are made up of cotton fibers where does this cotton wool come from it is uh, grown in the field cotton plants are usually grown at places having black soil and a warm climate can you name some states of our country where cotton is grown the fruits of uh, the cotton plant cotton ball, uh, balls are about the size of a lemon after mature uh, maturing the balls burst upon open and the seeds covered with the cotton fibers can be seen have you ever seen a cotton field that is ready for picking it looks like a field covered with the snow from these balls cotton is usually picked by hand fibers are th then separated from the seeds by combing this process is called gaining of, of, of cotton gaining was traditionally done by hand these days machines are also used for gaining jute jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant it is cultivated during the rainy season in india jute is mainly grown in west bengal bihar and assam the jute plant is normally harvested when it is at a flowering stage the stems as uh, stems of the harvested plants are in, immersed in water for a few days the stems rot and fibers are separated by hand to make fabrics all these fibers are first converted into yarn, into yarns how is uh, how is it done spinning cotton yarns you can try making cotton yarn yourself activity 4 hold some cotton wool in one hand pinch some cotton between the thumb and uh, forefinger of the other hand now gently start pulling out uh, of uh, pulling out the cotton while continuously uh, twisting the fibers figure 3.9 are you able to make a yarn the process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning in this process fibers from a mass of cotton wool are drawn out and twisted this brings the fibers together to form a yarn a simple device used for spinning in uh, is a hand spindle also called tuckley another hand operated uh, device used for spinning is a charkha use of charkha was a popular Popular, uh, popularized by mahatma gandhi as part of the independence movement he encouraged people to wear clothes made of uh, home spun yarn termed as uh, khadi and the sh uh, shan imported uh, cloth made in the mills of uh, britain to popularize and uh, promote khadi the government of india cons uh, constituted a body called khadi and uh, village industries commissions in 1956 spinning of yarn on a large scale is done with the help of spinning machines after spinning yarns are used for making fib uh, fabrics yarns to fabric there are many ways by which fabrics are made from yarns the two main 
processes are weaving and knitting weaving in activity 2 you might have noticed that a fabric is made up of two sets of yarns arranged together the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is called weaving let's uh, let us try to weave some paper strips activity 5 take two sheets of paper of different colors cut separate pieces of length and wide equal to 30 cm from each sheet now fold both the sheets into half on one sheet draw lines as shown in the figure 3.12a yeah, this is uh, 3.12 figure weaving with the paper strip a b c d okay cut both the sheets along the uh, dotted lines and then unfold weaves <coughs> weaves the uh, strips one by one through the cuts in the sheet of paper as shown in figure 3 Point one two figure three point one two shows uh, the pattern after weaving all the strips. In a similar manner, two sets of yarn are woven to make a, fib a fabric. The yarns are much thinner than our paper strips. Of course, weaving of fabric is done on looms. The looms are either hand operated or pow uh, power operated. Knitting. Have you noticed how sweaters are knitting? A knitting a a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric. Have you ever pulled the yarn from a torn pair of shocks? What happens? A single yarn gets pulled out continu continuously. As the fabric gets un unraveled, shocks and many other cloth items are made of knitting fabric. Knitting is done by hand and also on machines. Pahili wants to know if you have seen any fabric uh, fabrics that are made of the fabric fibers on the outer covering of, of coconut. What are these fibers normally used for? Weaving and uh, knitting are used for making different kinds of fabric. These fabrics are used for a variety of clothing items. History of clothing materials. Have you ever wondered what materials people used in ancient times for clothes? It appears that in those times people used the, uh, the bark and big leaves of trees or animal skins and furs to cover themselves. After people began to settle in agricultural communities, they learned to weave th twigs and grass into mo uh, mats and baskets. Vein, uh, veins, animal flick or hair were, uh, were twisted together into long strands. These were worn, uh, woven into fabrics. The early Indians wore, uh, wore fabrics uh, made out of cotton that grew in the regions near the, uh, griever, near the river Ganga. Flax is also a plant that gives uh, natural fibers in ancient Egypt. Cotton as well as flax were cultivated near the river Nile and uh, sorry Nile and uh, were used for making fab uh, fabrics. In those days, stitching was not known. People simply wrapped uh, the uh, the fabric around different parts of their body. Many different ways of uh, draping fabrics were used with the inv invention of the sewing needle. People started uh, stitching fabrics to make uh, clothes. Stitched clothes have uh, gone through many variations uh, since this uh, invention. But is it not amazing that even today, sari, dhoti, lungi, or turban is used? Turban is used as an as an unstitched piece of fabric. Just as uh, there is a large variety in the food eaten all over all over uh, all over country, a large variety exists also in fabrics and clothing items. Cotton rolls, ginning, uh, fiber, spinning, yarn, knitting, fabric, weaving. Okay. So this is keywords. Cotton wool, fabric, fiber, knitting, spinning, weaving, yarn. Okay. So this is your chapter which has completed now. I hope you like it.
guys if you like this video then please do like and share in your friends and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon now we meet in other topics so bye and thank you